Welcome back. Um, you all know my next guest from his many seasons on Quantum Leap. And uh, yes, big fan. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's see. Then he leapt into bed with Murphy Brown and got them boots. Yes. Please welcome Scott Bakula. Having fun, have a seat. Have you want to seat. introduce that guy from, from the north? John Corbett, you mean? Right, sitting right there? Yeah, so North Nick Spurs is his own, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Johnny. Yes. A little poetry, please. What's on your face there, John? All right, man. <laughs> uh, where do we start? I talked about you uh, leaping into Candace's uh, room. <laughs> and, With a view. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, <laughs> it, it was great. Uh, boy. <laughs> well, it was. It was. Uh, Candace has been great to me all season, and uh, this was a great way to end it. And we had this great bed scene, which is probably has some of the classic bed scene lines that I've heard on television in a long time. And uh, we just played a lot and had a lot of fun and ended up, you know, laughing through most of it and having to do it over some. Oh, yeah. Now, are you coming back to the show next year? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, now there's a lot of transitions over there, and uh, and so am I. So, uh, it's uh, they left it open. Yeah. So there's a, there's always a possibility that I could uh, pop up over there again. I was reading um, a pre-interview on you, and I don't know how you have time to go and do anything over there. I mean, you got a lot of stuff coming up. You're a cat too soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing an animated voice of Danny the cat in a new uh, Hanna Barbera animated feature that's going to come out in '96 called Cats Don't Dance. I play this cat who comes from Kansas or somewhere in the Midwest yeah. to Hollywood to make it big. And he thinks, and it takes place in the 30s, it's a period animated feature. And he thinks that that's, you know, when you come to Hollywood, that everybody has the fair, uh, fair chance. Yeah. So he finds out that animals are really treated like animals. Mm. And he's crushed. You know, he thinks, because he thought he's going to come to Hollywood and be a big star. But he's forced to be a cat and, and work as a cat in these movies. And, he, you know, he wants to get the spotlight. So he's in the middle of this big big song and dance number and there's this little character called Darla Dimple who's yeah. like Shirley Temple and um, <clears throat> she and she's supposed to be the friend of all little children and animals and she hates animals and she hates and he has one little meow it's a Noah's Ark thing in this in this uh, sequence and it gets time for him to do it and he you know busts into this it's this song called Little Boat on the Sea and he's going Little Boat on the Sea and he's supposed to go meow and he goes ma 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 boom 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 little boat on the sea <laughs> And she, yes, <laughs> and and you know she he gets in big trouble and uh, finds out that Hollywood isn't all that it's cranked up to be, which is gee, mm. reality, <laughs> a slice yeah. of reality, a little slice of the cat life. Now, one time you were here and I think you had just taped an episode where you were black, or you jumped into the body of somebody somebody black, and I, I thought that was a stretch. You as a cat, how do you research that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the animated scene is a, it's a weird thing because the movie's two years away, and you come in and you do little chunks of it once mm -hmm. every three or four months. Uh, I get to go sing Natalie Cole plays the other cat that I fall in mm -hmm. love with. So I'm going to get to go in a recording studio with her in a couple weeks. And that, that, you know, that's a great thing. And, yeah, Randy Newman wrote the music, and Gene Kelly's doing all the choreography. And so you get in this room, though, and nothing's there yet. There are no... I've seen pictures of what I look like, of what the cat looks like. I think they've got a picture here that maybe they'll see sometime. Sandy, later. you got you got you got a picture? It'll come on. Hey, oh, there it is. There it is. That's me, a little. Da that, that's me, yeah. Danny, and that's Natalie. The other cat is Aww. that's Natalie. She's and, as beautiful <laughs> in animation as she Everybody is in life. Everybody wants to be a cat. Yeah, yeah. And so I, you know, so you sit there and and you do these scenes and you do them with nobody else. She's not there, or anybody else, and. You read them a hundred different ways, and you and you make cat noises like you think a cat would make a noise. And do you they, have a cat? Do I? Yeah, I have. Oh, I have, okay. I have two wild cats who are, you know. Actually, I, I hope I have two wild cats. The coyotes have been in the backyard a lot lately, but you know. So so you just sit there and you you read a line one way and you read another way, and then they go and they animate it. So it's it's a trip. I don't know. I've never done it before. Let me hear his voice or her um, voice. His voice. Let's see. Hi, I'm Danny. Just got here from Kansas City. Got off the bus. Dig this face? You ain't seen nothing like it any place. 
right up on the movie screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's a, a cute, kind of endearing voice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. I'm totally... I hope it works, and, and it's up to them to kind of make it work. They love it, and I'm thinking, then it must be right, but I don't have a clue. Oh, boy. Now, you speak Spanish? I, I didn't even know that. A little bit? Uh, yeah. Un poquito, huh? Un poquito más. Did you have to uh, use it? Well, I'm doing this film right now for uh, some buddies of mine, which has been one of the one of the good things about Quantum Leap being over is that I've been able to do some fun things like this animated feature, and I'm doing Carol Burnett's next show, you know, coming up, which is like, she called and said, do you want to come and sing with me? And I said, yeah, I'd love to, you know, and I get to do that. And a friend of mine wrote this movie, it's now called Bridges, but it's uh, Jimmy Smits and Eddie Almost and, so, and some great, oh, great, great cast, Greg Nava and Anna Thomas wrote it, and I'm like the token white guy in it. Ah. <laughs> you know, it's it's a it's a, like a, a roots of East L.A. Yeah. It's a family that moves up from Mexico like 45 years ago, moves into East L.A., and it's about their life. It's a generational kind of story. And their daughter uh, becomes a nun mm -hmm. and uh, comes home one day married to a priest, which happens. They're not. They're exes now, ex-nuns, ex-priests. But I marry into this family, so I, I've been able to, you know, it's just a... It's just been a blast being, and everybody talks around me, and I nod and smile. <laughs> See, you know, when you first came to this town, do you remember, how long have you been here? I've been here since uh, January 1st, 1986. Okay, now what was it like when you first came here? Well, I, you know, quite frankly, I was afraid to come to L.A. for a variety of reasons. When I sat in my house in St. Louis in 76 and said, St. Louis, and, uh, and said, all right and said, do I want to go east or west? Do I want to go to New York or do I want to go? I was afraid to come out here because I like to do a lot of uh, things that people do in California that don't have to do with business. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that could get me in a lot of trouble. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> we, no but I mean, I, I play a lot of sports. I like, to, I like the beach. I like to play tennis. I like, you know, I, 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 so I thought if I go to LA at 20 and when I'm 21 years old, I'll never, this business will never happen for me because I'll be at the beach, you know, I'll be, I'll become a tennis pro or a, or a, a you know, a tennis bum or something and, and so I went to New York and waited. So then when I finally came, it was a big deal to me because it was starting over after 10 years in New York and I reached a certain place there and then, uh, I mean, it was just, I think it's good. It was like a new beginning and I think we all need to go through those things and uh, it certainly uh, took me in an entirely new direction and brought me a lot of wonderful things in my life but uh, it was it was scary yeah on quantum leap what was your favorite character uh actually i had a hmm. there's a young man named brad uh silverman that i i he played a character in the show a, a young man with a down syndrome and i played the character several times he came back many times and I would have to say that knowing him and, and getting to know him and, and playing that character and experiencing what uh, he experienced in his life was probably the most fulfilling character that I played the whole yeah. time I was on the show. Well, we enjoyed that show and, and we'll continue to enjoy um, all your work. And I hope you come back um, next season with Candace because interesting moments over there. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, and now, let's see. Okay. Uh, hasta la vista. Uh, how, hasta, well, hasta la well, vista. Well, you got, yeah, you, yeah. Got, you have Arnold Spanish, and, yes. then, and then everyone else is. Uh, yes. Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, yes, I, I told you. I, Bad. I'm, I'm awful. I'm no, awful. that was good. Well, yeah, thanks. You're just a nice guy. Oh, uh, but, but thank you. Hasta <laughs> thank, mañana. Until, until tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for all your visits here, man. I mean. Thank you for letting me come on the show. It's been a great, a great pleasure for me and you've really helped me and a lot of the people that I've worked with out for over the years and it's meant a lot to us. My viewers love you. I get letters whenever you hear. My viewers love you. Scott Bakula!